how far would you go to teach your kids a lesson? A Swedish dad intentionally brought his two gamer sons to war zones to teach them the realities of war. Carl Magnus Helgegren saw firsthand the consequences of war while a journalist in the Middle East and was determined to show his boys that war isn't cool. The family spent 10 days in Israel, the West Bank, as well as a refugee camp and a clinic where kids were being stitched up from war injuries. The father published an article about his experiences with his sons, which sparked a flood of backlash and support from parents worldwide. Ooh. Well, Carl, wow. the boy's father, joins us now on the phone all the way from Sweden. And there, there are various types of reaction, Carl, to this kind of trip. Um, and I know you've gotten a bit of a backlash. What was the motivation behind exposing your kids to this so early in their lives? I wanted to teach my, my children, when they wanted to play these games, I asked them, uh, have, have you ever seen war or do you know what war is? And they said no. And what we did was that we took them to the Golan Heights to see the minefields and we were 60 kilometers from Damascus and uh, the civil war going on there. But we were always safe and uh, we, all, we were also in a, in a uh, refugee camp in Shuafat. And, uh, when they entered, they saw the roads were dirty and they saw kids with dirty clothes. And we also went to a medical clinic and I asked the manager to tell my children what the situation was like for, for kids their own age. So they were sitting there and he was saying that, well, we're stitching up one kid a day who's getting beaten in the head with the butt of a rifle and the soldiers are hitting them because they're pelting rocks at them. Mm. And also there were three uh, children sitting in wheelchairs uh, because they had been shot through the spine with rubber bullets. My kids, uh, their jaws dropped and they were kind of looking at me saying, is this real are you, or are you pulling your leg? Is this for real? Were you afraid at all of creating any trauma to the kids, um, particularly, you know, for them to see anything that, you know, really could kind of give them nightmares or post-traumatic I mean, stress? It is disorder. a little like shock therapy. Yeah. Their reaction to this uh, was that they were shocked and they were a bit afraid but then they calm down or, you know, it's not like there's a, a, a danger to them. They're just shocked from the story. Well, and I think, Carl, you raise some really interesting points. Thank you for sharing those with us. And, you know, Carl's kids admit now they actually don't want to play those violent video games. And That's according cool. to hundreds of like studies, that. video games with violent content are linked to more aggressive behavior in children mm -hmm. and teens. And we know the effect of violence in movies and television. It does affect these kids. The average child will view 200,000 violent acts on television by the time they're 18. Oh. So to, to put those into perspective. And, and a and, lot of and, kids live in environments yeah. where there's tons of violence mm -hmm. every day in the streets, and it really affects them. Yeah. I think really. taking kids on a safe vacation and exposing them to anything, other cultures. Yeah. It doesn't need to be war, mm -hmm. but just, I'll tell you what, you never yeah. have a kid come back from someplace else where maybe they don't have it quite as good as we have in the U.S. They always come back and say, wow, wow. Thank I you. never realized. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.